Hey, welcome to Ken's Corner. Uh, this is another how-to video from Ken's Corner. So anyway, uh, let's get right to it. Uh, what this video is going to be about is how to replace the brake pads. Uh, this is a, uh, I run aerospace uh, uh, front uh, brake calipers. These are a four piston caliper. So that means that there's two pistons on this side and two pistons on the back side. So it gets to get a lot more clamping force. Uh, so uh, what makes this unique, uh, like on traditional type cars, uh, where sometimes there's only one piston on one side, this one, as you compress the pistons, you have to hold the other pistons in place while you compress one side of the pistons, then kind of flip it over, then you hold the other side of the pistons as you compre uh, compress uh, each one of these pucks and what I'm going to do I'm going to compress one of these pucks at, at a time not the whole not the whole thing But one at a time I can do all four of them that way and get them all closed down So I'm going to show you how I do it and uh, I know they make special tools how they can stick a kind of a device in here and you kind of Turn it and it just kind of compresses them all simultaneously at the same time. I'm cheap I'm going to do it my way and do a little bit where the traditional tools that you have laying around you can do it yourself so anyway, uh, let's get started with this. Okay, if you're like me, like saving money and all that good stuff, uh, instead of going to aerospace and buying their brake pads and stuff, what I did, I actually go out and buy my own brake pads. They're the same brand that goes in the, when you get their aerospace. They're made by Hawk. In fact, that's the part number that I'm using. The only difference is, is that when you get these, you actually have to, uh, I'll show you. This is the old pad from the other rotor I already did. Uh, the center hole right here, you have to drill that one out. When they come in brand new, that hole is like the same size as these small holes here. So you kind of have to drill the middle one out just a little bit, enough to get that bolt going through it. So the end result is something like, uh, something like this. I drilled this one out, now that bolt will be able to slide in and out. If you don't do that, that bolt, and I'm, the bolt I'm referring to is the bolt that holds the pads in place, this bolt right here. So that that hole has to be big enough to get that bolt through it. So that's the only thing, only thing you have to do. You, you buy it from Aerospace, I guess they already drilled it out and it fits. You know, I did that once before, but their pads almost twice as much what I can get them for. So uh, anyway, uh, a little bit of cost savings there for you. So I do recommend buying yourself. Use that part number I show you. And uh, it's a lot easier that way. So anyway, let's get started getting these... Uh, uh, old brake shoes pads off and get the new ones on. What you have to do is get this bolt out. That's pretty easy little process here. Hopefully. Uh, three eighths. Oh, now a wrench. And you just hold it in place there and. Now you should be able to pull these guys right on out. Blah, blah, blah. So those things are uh, pretty, getting pretty worn, so it's best to go ahead and get those things replaced. So uh, anyway, and that's what I'm going to show you now, how I get all this stuff set up, how I can get these uh, traditional clamps, these, uh, these quick grips. You'll need three of these to do what I'm getting ready to do. The other thing that you're going to need is some type of a, I use a kind of steel, that uh, as you compress one side you need one clamp to hold two of the pucks down as you work on the other side so anyway let me get these clamps set up for you and i'll show you how to get all these things set up where you can start compressing each one of these pucks one at a time so give me a few minutes here and i get it set up okay i don't know if you can see this or not but uh what i did here i got two clamps one in each of these pucks on this side of the caliper and on the back side, I got one clamp holding two pucks in place. So I don't want those to move. So I just basically split between the two, keep those kind of clamped down so they don't move. And what you're going to do, or I'm going to do, I'm going to start compressing each one of these pucks one at a time. Sometimes you can uh, get things going here simultaneously, just alternate between each side, and uh, they'll start to move. Sometimes you might have to readjust these things out a little bit. You try and get centered up on that puck as best you can, and they'll start to move eventually. So, uh, I not already started to move. I have to get recentered here. So anyway, let me keep working on this and I'll get it collapsed and I'll show you here in a second. Okay, I got those two pucks 
down. Um, I think they're down far enough. Then what I did to put that long piece of uh, bar between the two pucks, I got one clamp holding it down. Then what I'm going to do on the back side, I'm going to start putting clamps on these and start bringing those down as well, one at a, one at a time. So, um, show you. So hopefully this will work. So, get one clamp set up there. So I don't push the puck out as I push the other one down. And I get this one here. Then I should go ahead and there. That needs to draw it all down. Sometimes you have to reposition the the position where you're squaring up on the puck. Sometimes it goes kind of an angle and it kind of binds it. So if you just kind of release pressure off of it and you keep pushing down like that, you can see these pucks are uh, finally got those down and just about there. Yep, now this one here I do the same thing, kind of reposition that clamp around, kind of release pressure and get enough push on it. <laughs> push. Okay. Okay, now everything is pushed down where the, now I can get the pads put in. So uh, let's go ahead and get that started here next. Okay, hopefully you can see this. Now you can see the pucks are out of the way. Put the uh, new brake pads in there and we should be good to go. So all we have to do is put these guys in. So goes there that goes there <laughs> okay always like to put the nut on the back side away you know point away forward you know, toward the front looks I don't think it matters but that's just my preference and all we do is just kind of tighten that down. That's a that's a locking nut on there, so it doesn't really. Once you tight, you know, you don't have to tighten it down real tight. You just want it tight enough to go ahead and uh, where it's not going to come out. So, so let me go ahead and get that done here real quick. Oops. Gosh, right-handed. There we go. <laughs> so anyway uh we are brand new brake pads on it should be good to go um i'm gonna go ahead and polish this up and i'll show you an after uh, after you know shot on it how dirty it looks here once i get the polish on and get all cleaned up should be almost look like brand new so if anything look a lot cleaner so okay you'll see that here in a second okay to get this thing cleaned up get a little bit of scotch bright green pad here what do you want to do, or I want, you know, what you should do is kind of go with the grain of the aluminum and just get a good scuff to get some of the oil and stuff build up on it. It just takes off all that grind that's been on there for God knows how many race seasons. So. want to get it good clean so what we're going to do next we're going to turn around and get some polish on this shine it all up and all that good stuff so you'll see that here in a second as soon as i get this thing good and you know rub down Okay, we'll throw some polish on it here and go from there. Okay, not endorsing this project or this product by all means, but it is a pretty good thing. It's a Blue Magic, it's a metal polish cream. 
uh, basically with this just a dab I think it's more than a dab but uh, what you want to do is just kind of a get any place on here um, where you want uh, the metal at polished okay then on another rag you just kind of uh, wipe it off and you start polishing it in they'll start things will start to turn black a little bit and then it starts to get really shiny if you heard that that's my heater just kicked on in the shop here so give me a few minutes here and I get it all polished up and you'll see the okay as you can see this is all polished up not a bad little polish get a little bit more shine back to it so I'm very pleased how it came out looks pretty much like new if not a little bit better so it's a little bit shinier uh, so anyway hopefully this gave you some uh, idea what it is what it would take to change these pads out uh, it's not really that difficult to do I mean you can do like normal tools that you should have around the shop anyway so anyway hopefully you like what you saw and hopefully gave you some type of uh, insight of what it you know what it take to ch uh, change these pads out so any anything with that this project's completed and uh, more to come. So anyway, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.